So hello everybody. I'm sure you guys have had quite the month and especially past couple weeks. So um, we teamed up with Sean. We were gonna go live with both of us, but we're still figuring that out. So we just wanted to kind of encourage you all in album sales and business and just kind of talk through what we've been processing and encourage you of what we think you could actually use this time for. And like in all things, we try to find the silver lining and as devastating as this global pandemic seems to be, there's always silver lining in things. And those are the mm -hmm. kind of things, as long as you're taking the right precautions to, to the pandemic, you should be focusing on the silver lining and doing all you can to continue doing good in this world and do good for yourself and not just kind of spiral out of control, which a lot of times can be the easier thing to do. But we're here just to encourage you to not do that. And we're here for you. And we are we're fighting for you and your success. And we truly believe um, in doing that. So we're here for you. And I know this will probably go after live. So if you're re-watching this, yeah. this all stands, guys. This is, yeah. we're here for you and to help. So we kind of wanted to go through how we're taking this opportunity. Um, now that we're kind of strapped in one or two places, uh, just to, to stay here for a little bit and then what we're doing with it. So right now. Also, I want to say something that's been really encouraging to me is I have had a lot of people, especially in our industry, say what we've been given right now is a gift of time and what you do with that time really matters. So of course it's easy to just sit on the couch and watch <laughs> Netflix all day, but like these events that have been canceled, we truly have been given the gift of time and there's so much opportunity in our mm -hmm. industry for things that we can be doing when we're not actually photographing events. Yeah. There's so much opportunity for that. So we wanna give you some ideas and things that we have been doing with that time and just encouragement for you guys because like you said, we're here for you and for your success and we just wanted to share with you guys what we have been up to so that we can help you guys during this time. Yeah, so um, just kind of relate, Jess and I just found out that we have two weddings um, rescheduling. Fortunately, we're available on the other days. So we had an April 4th and an end of May wedding that are pushed till August and September now. So like, I feel you when you have brides and grooms and coordinators rushing in and you're trying to figure out all the drama and all the things, but just to encourage you, if you guys can be an anchor of hope for all of your couples and even all the wedding other professionals that, that are struggling right now, do so, turn on that light and shine as bright as you can. Don't be ashamed of being joyful um, in yeah. a time that seems really dark um, because that's how, what's gonna get us all through. So I encourage you in that. And Jess and I, like we said, we feel like we've been giving the gift of time and we all of a sudden, our schedule's free, which is very rare for Jess and I. Yeah. Um, so we're taking <laughs> advantage of it. So a lot of things would be taking advantage of building out systems. After all, entrepreneurs, that's their job to build systems in your business that allows you to continue growing and to continue serving people better. Um, yeah, Sean. And um, of hope and a light of joy. Thank you, Sean. Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. So to encourage you guys <laughs> yeah. to keep doing that. So what Jess and I have been choosing to do is we kind of like view our business in what we wanted to create. Like if we had yeah. a month to do whatever we want to build in business, this is the opportunity to do that. So we have been kind of battening down the hatches and figuring out where we can tighten the loose screws and where we really want to dive into. And to encourage you with that, something that um, obviously we're super passionate about is albums. And this is something that Jess and I decided to do last year to really team up with Kiss Books and dial in, really, really dial in exactly how to sell albums and how to build that system. So we kind of want to share with you a little bit more of um, our story of how uh, our process through albums and where we came from and where we're at now and how you guys can do the same thing and like we said even if you're rewatching this DM us email us yeah. we'll, we'll put all that in the comments when we're done here so you can like ask us as many questions as you want we're hopping on calls with people we, we want you guys to be successful and I know it seems scary if like inquiries have stopped and things are rescheduling but there's so much opportunity to be able to prepare for rapid growth as this starts to die down, like your business can start to raise up even further. So we're here to encourage you to do that. So we, this is my 14th year as a wedding photographer. So we've been doing this for a long time. We've done over 350 weddings. And when we, I mean, years ago, we knew we need to offer albums. <laughs> like we definitely need to, and we want people to have something tangible, but we didn't actually know how to integrate it into our business. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, oh, let's put album credit in our packages and then we'll figure it out later <laughs> and guys we were selling like realistically one album a year for for a, a, quite a few and we years. were losing money we on were it losing money on <laughs> it. it was awful and we were 
like all the excuses that we had was, well, like it's not worth our time. It's not worth our money to like add these in. We just didn't know how to do it. And we yeah. didn't have a system for how to incorporate albums into our wedding packages so that our couples could have these incredible heirloom albums after their wedding. So we said, hey, Sean, we need your help. We have seen that Kissbooks is the best of all that. Like I've been around for a long time. I've seen a lot of albums. We tested a lot of different albums and we love Kissbooks, not just for their incredible quality of albums, but also for their heart. So we, that aligned with us really well. And we said, Sean, we would love to know how you actually do this. You like Sean does an amazing job being able to educate so many people in this community. And so we were like, can we just call you when we have questions and figure this out? And so it was a matter of like, a lot of phone calls in about 48 yeah, hours. Yeah, Sean was very gracious. In like <laughs> 72 hours, it probably took a solid week to really dial in every step of the process. And then we really made it our own. Like I said, like, so for Jess and I personally, like we, in-person sales is really fun, but all of our couples, nine out of 10 of them don't live anywhere near us. Yeah. They're all destination. And even if they get married in Santa Barbara, they usually don't live here. So we don't have what some would call like a luxury of in-person sales. So we had to build a system that allowed us to do this basically via email and FaceTime, which is good. So we went from four, 2018, four albums. We sold four sold albums. Sold four albums. I didn't yeah. make a dime off those albums to 2019 after implementing the system within six months, selling 50 albums and profiting over $60,000 from this. And I don't say that lightly. I don't yeah. say that. And like, it was so easy. It was a lot of hard work to build. But once it's built and once you guys learn how to implement these and make albums part of the excitement, it's really seamless and it's something that you can be doing and it serves your clients better. Like what we always tell our clients is we love digital. I love social media. I love Facebook lives. I love <laughs> galleries and cloud spot and shoot proof and where you can download all your photos and share them. It's an amazing world we live in. Um, but there's nothing like holding an album, like going through your wedding experience where it's on your coffee table and we get to share that with our couples. And at the end of the day, you profit more, but most importantly, they are being served better because you have done something in your business that allows you to be above the curve of photographers that allows you to serve them better and that legacy lasts forever. And I don't say that lightly. I know legacy can kind of be a trendy word, but it's real. And we've been doing it a year now and it's remarkable to see exactly what the repercussions have been for our couples and how we can serve them. And to be honest, our profit, which is amazing. Yeah. So everyone wins. Um, yeah, Sean, it's been, uh, guys, Kiss Books has just been like the raddest people. It's been crazy. They, I, Sean would just send me voice message after voice message of all the questions I've been asking him. Um, so I just kind of wanted to share with you a little bit more of our process of how we go through... Um, oh yeah, how many weddings do you do a year? How many albums will you do in 2020? Oh, this is great. This is a great, great question. So I'll go over the how in just a minute, which is great. And I love the how because yeah. we spent a long time building this how. And once yeah. you build it, you're set. You know, it's step and repeat. Um, so 2020, we are doing probably 30 weddings. Yeah. 30 weddings, which I know we shoot a lot, but we're doing 30 weddings all over the world. And we will sell, I think, 70, my goal is like 75 albums, which is ridiculous. I also do boudoir sessions and all which of those are albums, albums as well. Yeah, so it's probably which close to If any of you are that, DM her later. She's very good at it. Thank you. It's not my industry. Fair. Um, <laughs> but we'll, my goal is to sell like 75 plus albums, and that just takes into account the system we've built and then duplicating that system for boudoir or for parents mm -hmm. and then for the other side of the parents and it's just a system that when you know how it works you just kind of finesse it for each client and it's amazing um so that's our goal and the profit from that will be that's the thing is i wasn't going to do albums unless it was worth it for both parties for my bar brides and grooms to be served extraordinarily well and at the same time i can't put in extra effort somewhere unless we're profiting that's business we're entrepreneurs that's that's just how it goes so killing two birds with one stone is the only way i would do it and luckily we figured it out and I want to share a little bit more of our process with you. And even if this is on repeat, guys, you're watching this, we're at open books. We will share anything. We will share whatever you want to call secrets or just standards yeah. of how we, how we function. So we're here. So I'm just going to kind of go through. First of all, um, 30 weddings. Yeah, we got, we got, um, just got an email this morning with this system. Like, it's so funny because like she started doing boudoir. She's been doing it for a decade, but we just implemented it this year for boudoir albums. 
and she did this like upsell that I'll teach you guys and then she was just like great thumbs up put in production and it was like three times more than she originally paid which yeah. always to this day I still get like a kid like I screenshot every time someone buys an album and send it to Sean still <laughs> I'm like look it works still and like every single time it's been like 50 100 albums at this point it's crazy so <clears throat> Something I kind of want to go over first is if you're watching this, you have hesitations, which I did for a decade. I had hesitations. Um, so I could ask you if we could all go back and forth. You can throw it in the comments, but are things that have stopped you from selling albums before? Yeah. I'll tell you what stopped me, and this is the most common answers. Um, I don't have time for that. I am not good at sales. I don't want to sound salesy. Last time I did this, I lost money. What the hell? Um, and there's so many things that just go down the list of, I don't want to mo most importantly, I didn't want to sound salesy. I didn't want to lose money. I also didn't want like the last thing my couples to experience was like this bitter taste of, I'm trying to sell you something. And all yeah. of a sudden it's like this sneak attack where like you do their wedding and it's all of a sudden it's like whack you overhead. Boom. You need to buy an album from me. That actually is damaging. Do you mind sharing how much you charge for albums plus extra spreads for weddings and boudoir? Yeah, absolutely. Um, keep screenshotting and sending. So Yeah. <laughs> Big yeah, I'm gonna keep screenshotting those things. Yeah, so and yes, we will I'll go over all the prices and what what, what you guys should be, what what the base of all should be at and how you should upsell things. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to explain what, like I said, you guys want to like DM me privately. I will explain all this to you. It takes a while to build out, but I'm gonna give you everything and then keep asking those questions. Um, so like I said, I have felt the pain of I don't want to sell albums. It's hard. It's scary. I can be inconsistent. I've lost money. What if they deny me? What if the last thing they remember about me is this bitter taste in my mouth about them trying to be salesy? I can applaud myself and applaud Kissbooks for helping me that we've been able to do that without all those negativities. And at the end of the day, when you really realize you're serving people better, the first, it's a lot of hard work. Like if I'm gonna, like all things worth it. If you're like, great, give me a magic pill. It doesn't exist, but a formula does exist. And if you put in the work to make this happen, you guys will start selling albums. I haven't had a single person I've taught this to not do it. And if yeah. it doesn't work, and if you really put in the work, I'll give you my number, you can FaceTime me and yell at me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you to keep trying it, because it will work. <laughs> but it, I'm just encouraging you in this. So the first steps, I'm gonna go over like the basic steps of what you need to do at bare minimum, and then we can dive into Q&A and keep going farther. So I have my little notes up here. Um, <clears throat> Okay, album sales, here we go. Um, uh, okay, so the first thing you have to do is, like the top of funnel, all things, awareness. Um, like, exactly, Brian, it's all about trusting the process and persistent, 100%. Yeah. It's scary to implement something that you, technically, you won't see the result until like post-wedding you sell this album. But the second you do that, you will be hooked because your clients will be so ecstatic about it. We had one of our couples get their album in November. Kissbooks wraps it and does a handwritten note. It's beautiful. Amazing. And it was November. Beginning of November, they got their album, upgraded it like beyond. They kept it under their Christmas tree till Christmas Day because they said it's going to be our favorite present. When you hear something like that and you're making a ton of money off of it, it's there's no going back. So I'll yeah. warn you, it's worth the effort, but there's no going back after this. It's so fun. So top of funnel, it's about awareness. Like I said, you can't just sneak attack someone and expect them to be like, yes, yeah. I want an album. You know, it's like going to buy a Honda and then they bring on a G-Wagon. You're like, you gotta buy this now. It I'm doesn't work. It just, yeah, she would. <laughs> it doesn't work though. So the first thing is awareness. So the first things I encourage you to do is when you start offering albums, talk about it. Um, you're a wedding photographer, I guarantee you're on Instagram if you're not get on Instagram, but you're all on Instagram. Highlights, there should be an album section. On your stories, whenever you get, even a sample album from Kiss Books, whenever we even redo our samples, you better believe that I put that on the table. I say, I'm so excited for this person's album. I put like a little tripod, it's like the most duct tape jerry rig thing, my phone, and I look under and I make sure it's lined up, and I just flip through it, and I show all of our future brides that this is the experience they're gonna get. This is the product that they get in their hands when they're done at their wedding. So the awareness of it, um, whatever you're using, pricing guide, email, PDF, plus site, I highly recommend a plus site so that you don't have a million PDFs over years with different pricing on them. But whatever you're sending your price guide in, your pricing guide in, I'm getting so excited. <laughs> I love it. Whatever you send your pricing guide in, make sure that there's an album section that explain, this is why we love albums. This is why they're so beautiful. Don't put pricing, just encourage them. Be like, this is what we believe. Like I said, steal yeah. the line. 
as much as we love digital, there's something different about having a physical version of your entire wedding story from start to finish. So the awareness of that. So keep thinking of ways that you could continually show your people. Um, if you have a pricing or a, yeah. like a magazine, like a bridal guide that we send to our couples, there's like three pages on albums in there. It just gets them excited. We also explain to our couples that <laughs> like our final thing that we're giving to them is the album. Like that mm -hmm. is the final part of the process because we want them to know that we don't just want their photos to live online forever because statistics, mm -hmm. statistics show that they're not going to no download them. They're on. not going to make an album on their own. It just doesn't happen. So we explain to them from the very beginning yeah. that this is the final piece yeah. of your James and Jess experience with us. And so they know that before they even Tina, I'll go through pricing with you for sure. Just for like wedding prices, we just go six, eight, and 10 hours eight and 10 hours have albums in there and I'll explain those in just a second and what you should even be pricing those at. Um, so that's what you should be doing for, for that. So the awareness of it, bring the awareness to it. And when that starts to happen, yes, maybe on the front end, there might be a little resistance because some people won't be, won't be comfortable with it. But after like a month of doing this with Jess and I, with talking about it, with consultation was showing up, we just had someone book a wedding and add four albums on the front end. Yeah. They were sold. By the time I talk to them, they should be excited because they should see following you on social media. You should be sending them a pricing guide that explains what albums are and they should be aware of it. After all, this is probably their first wedding, their first professional photography experience. It's up to you set the tone. You're the expert. Albums are the tone. You're the expert. You should be yeah. selling albums. Um, so first, bring the awareness to it. And when you guys want to talk right now, I'll talk to you like how to actually, and I, and I can tell you right now, we've done this without raising our wedding prices. So like when we added albums, I did not adjust any number on our pricing guide. I simply added things because I knew I'd be able to profit from them. So I'm gonna to start to explain that to you right now. This is like my favorite part. This is part of the system. Um, one, like I said, our lowest collection is six hours and it's like, we tell them like, this is not enough. This is for like tiny weddings. You're gonna end up upgrading. They always end up upgrading. So our middle collection, whatever your most popular collection is, add, an album and how we say it is we say at the base you guys should be charging 600 I think right now we're charging a thousand but depending on your price point 600 and you should say um, six hundred dollars album credit which is good for an 8x8 8 8, 20 page linen album 8x8 8 8, 20 page linen album technically it's 10 spreads two pages but 20 pages just sounds a little bit fuller so you say pages your clients don't know it's what the same are. yeah and pages, pages are better are. And I say that because an 8x8, 20-page linen album is the smallest book you can purchase from Kiss. And out the door, it's like $105, which yeah. is why I never raise my prices. Because even if they never upgraded, I want them to have an album and I'm willing to pay $105. I've never paid that $105. They've always upgraded. Um, but that's what you should be putting in your collection. And if you want to go a step higher than that, like in your highest collection, put a 10x10 linen album that is 30 pages. Um, second, this you can't bypass. After they book you with that album, you have to give them the most kick-ass wedding experience they've ever had in their entire lives because at the base of it, that's what we do. The album is a continuation of the experience, but you need to provide that for them. You need to show up. And something that's really fun, the more and more you do this and the more you start to design albums, you'll actually show up on the wedding day excited to take certain types of pictures because you know that's what's going to hit in the album. Yeah. Few of us in here, any questions? Are we tracking? What pricing template do we use? I use my own template. Oh yeah, we created our own template. <laughs> we also, we actually have a video on our pricing page that's us explaining our packages and why the middle collection is the most popular package. And then we also explain why albums are important and yeah. why we sell so albums. So that's, our, pricing, our pricing page is very unique because we want Which you guys should do. You guys should, on your pricing Thanks, guide, Marissa. if you guys want to sit down and take a few extra minutes, it's just a video of us on our iPhone. It's like, hey, we're James and Jess. Thank you for inquiring with us. Um, below, you can see our collections, but we want to walk you through them and which one would be right for you. And as we're walking through, so say we get to the middle collection, you're like, it includes an album credit. We're t as we're saying album credit, I just recorded on my phone a little B-roll of me flipping through an album so that visually they're coaxed to understand yeah. that's a beautiful album. So you got awareness, you got add that into your collection, give them the best wedding experience of their lives. Um, yes. Would you allow them to your clients always upgrade to add spreads? I'm about to tell you this. How do you about upgrades? This great. is what this I'm about to great. tell you. It's, it's the best great. part. Awesome. Um, something to keep in mind. 
all your profit will come from upgrades, which yes. I'm, I'm going to teach you like right now. Yeah. Um, the album inside the collection is like a low cost foot in the door, bare minimum. You don't say bare minimum, but for you, you know, like that's the smallest album they can get because all your profit will come from upgrading. Yeah. Um, so step three. They get, and we have to have a DTR real quick about blogs. You guys know what a DTR is, we're right? We're going to define the relationship. Define the relationship. All things in your business should be serving you and your client. Yes. Everything. A blog is meant to serve you, as in it attracts more business, so it's longevity. But it should also be serving your client, as in they see this, they go through an experience with that blog, or they're supposed to. Jess and I have discovered that by doing what we're about to teach you and pushing the blog a week or two later, it actually serves our business better and our brides better, yeah. giving them better experience, putting more profit in our pocket. Because I guarantee you from a blog post, a bride has never paid you more. Yeah. They've also just seen their photos, they've gotten excited, and then, and then that's usually where it ends. And then you send them their full gallery whenever later and, and that's it. That's not where it should end. So we're going to push the blog a little bit later and I'm gonna explain to you how we've replaced it. Um, how do you go about upgrades? All the yes. So I'm about to. We're gonna go in. So when they, we're just gonna assume they booked your middle collection. They have a $600 album credit for an 8x8, 20-page linen album. In the Kiss Designer, and there are other designers that do, or not album companies, but there's software that do this. There's an airplane going by. If you're wondering what that yeah. is. Um, oh, it's gonna go. Okay. So anyways, we we shoot the wedding. We on shoot Saturday. the wedding on Saturday, and then. By usually by Tuesday we'd have the blog post up, but instead of the blog post, we take all those same images that tell the story and put them in a slideshow. Which on Kiss Books, you just design the album inside Kiss Books as like free software. It doesn't even make sense. That's amazing. And it's also better than any software I used to pay for and lose money on. But we would upload the photos and we would design a digital slideshow. So they would. Instead of designing them a twenty-page album, we would design however many pages it takes to tell the full story of the wedding day. Mm -hmm. um, so full story of the wedding day for us, usually minimum 40 to 60 pages, which is oh, yeah. minimum. And on the bigger weddings, like depending on the tradition, I mean, we just saw a three day Indian wedding. That's basically a three series album. Oh. It's We so maxed out the designer, good. which is what, Sean, like 120 pages or something or 80 pages? 140. 140, yeah, we went hard. But anyways, a typical eight hour wedding day, you should be design designing an album 40 to 60 plus pages. There should be no more of three images on each page, so six images per spread, and a lot of them should be big hero images or just one on each page. So what vocabulary do you use when you explain it? So when we send that actual... Good question. That's a great question. When we send that slideshow to our clients on a Tuesday or Wednesday after their wedding, all we're saying to them is... We loved your wedding so much, we couldn't help but edit a few photos. Here is the full story of your day. All you have to do is pour a drink, press play, and enjoy this together. There is no sales in that email. There is no pitch in that email. I got you, Sean. It is just sending it to them. Something like Sean was reminding me important. When they're booking and if they, when they ask about the album, the 8x8, like, yes, we, we value albums. We want all of our clients to have an album. The 8x8 20 page is a great highlight reel of your wedding day. Yes. It's a great to get the basic story. It's a highlight reel. And then you can say later you'll have an opportunity to upgrade. And something that we say in our video that this is something that Sean gave us this sentence or you slip it in your pricing guide under albums. We just say the majority of our couples choose to spend more on their album. Like if they're going to spend more, they're going to spend it on the album. Yeah. So that we say when we send the slideshow, so we design this slideshow, we don't unlock any of the pricing. We simply say, press play on this button and enjoy your wedding day. You put it to me. Um, it's a low connection. We're back. So we upload their song and all we do is you send them, Hey, happy honeymoon. Just press play on this. And that window of opportunity between within the week of their wedding, they just press play. And all of a sudden they're experiencing a digital slideshow. They don't care how many pages it is of their entire wedding day from getting ready, mom zipping up the dress, the first look, the first look with dad, walking down the aisle, ceremony, first kiss, all the way to like the grand exit or the sparklers or the dancing, whatever it is. Emotionally and psychologically from that point on for the rest of their lives, that's their wedding day. 
that's just how psychology works. That's yeah. how I've tested it. What they've seen in that, al- in that album slideshow becomes their wedding day in their mind because it seals in their memories of their actual wedding day that was just a few days prior. Verbiage is on point. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And like I said, this isn't a sales pitch. They know they're going to have an opportunity to upgrade the album. And a lot of people ask, like, shouldn't they pick their highlights and design it? No. There are so many. Sean might be able to pop in with the amount of albums that are left in cart when they choose their favorites. And it's like 85% or something. It's crazy. Um, and that's not, that's not like Kiss Books albums. That's like... People saying, like, I'll design my own. Yeah. So it, it really is serving your clients better when you say, I'm going to design it for you. Yeah. So after we send that slideshow on Kiss Books and in the back end of the designer, you can see how many views it's had. And we've had it go like well past 500 views because we're like, share this link on Facebook if you want. And like Sean always says, Facebook is busy, but you cannot resist a big press play button. Mm-hmm. And that just makes everyone else relive it. So you just let that marinate for a little bit. They're on their honeymoon. And then you even say in the email, enjoy this slideshow. So that, um, while we work on the rest of your images. Yeah. And that sets the tone. There's more. Then they press play and they're ruined. It's psychologically, this is now their wedding day. And now it's our responsibility to continue with that experience to make sure that they don't just drop off there, but you bring it into fruition and completion with the product. Yeah. For us, that happens about three days to a week later, our editor sends back all of the images for them. So at that point, we send another email that says, hey, we hope you're enjoying your slideshow. Yeah, 78%. There There you go. There we go. See, I knew it was a high... Hope you're enjoying your slideshow. Great news. You know, the email you guys should all be sending. All your wedding photos are ready. This is how the gallery works. There's a family tab, a getting ready tab. Um, If your gallery space has, like, categories, we highly recommend putting a candids tab because candids are, like, the number one view photos for us. Yeah. And then you'd be like, there's even a candids tab. And you just collectively... I mean, any, basically anyone not looking at the camera, put them in the Candid's tab. Yeah. We also, we allow our clients to download their own photos and print them on their mm-hmm. own. That's included in all of their packages. <laughs> but we, because we explain the importance of the album from day one, they know that, yes, I can download my own photos, but I know I'm going to get an album from James and Jess. So that actually doesn't, letting clients download their own photos doesn't affect our end game of yeah. how we deliver our albums to them. So then after we send that email that says, yay, all your photos are ready, and they get to sit on that for a little bit. So from that for three days, unless, which I always love, unless they write back, thank you, what about the album? You send it, you send what I'm about to tell you then. Give it three days, make sure they've opened their photos, and then we send them, which is like my favorite email. The one, it's like this massive email, but it's just explaining we still can't get over how beautiful your wedding was. We're so excited now that all your photos are ready best way to relive your day is an album. Let's get you your album. And then we say, actually, that slideshow that we sent you was the first draft of your album. Remember, your wedding collection came with a 20-page album, your an 8x8 20-page, and if someone orders an 8x8 20-page, we will say, we designed you a 10 by 10 say, 45-page. Technically, they're all squares. I get it. Um, yes, we yes they have songs included. Um, technically a square can be eight by eight, 10 by 10, four by four, whatever you want. But I intentionally, if you've got an eight by eight, I'm going to design you an album mentally knowing that I want you to get a 10 by 10 because you're going to like it better. So I say in this email, your collection came with an eight by eight, 20 page album. I wanted to tell you the, I wanted to tell the full story of your wedding day. So we designed you a 10 by 10, 60 page wedding album that tells your story from start to finish. I understand that this initial design is packed full of images. So if you want to go back, um, so if you want to go back to the eight by eight, 20 page, no problem. Let me know what pages you want me to remove. Nearly impossible. And ultimately you're serving your clients because they really do want this. You just need them to have it. So ultimately you're just like, Hey, this is what's good for you. If you don't want the best, just tell me what to take away. No. No, Jeff, I've never experienced. That's a question I always get right here. So I'm not. Let me finish the email. Let me finish what I say, and then I'll explain to you why it's not a bait and switch. Um, it was a huge concern of mine too, but I realized I put myself in the shoes of them. There, you're saying you have this. 
If you want more, great. If not, just tell me what you want and it's fine. And there's no like, you need to do this at all. At that point, they're feeling so loved. They're like, obviously I want my full story told. But then we say, if you don't want this, no problem. Tell me what pages to go back on. I'll, I'll design you. We won't say we'll design a new one. Just say, go in the comments section. But then there's basically the next steps. One, click on this link and it's a link, Davey and Krista, um, the palm shop, Davey and Krista Jones, amazing friends of ours. They have for 29 bucks. I think they also have a show it, or a Squarespace version, but a show it drag and drop template that's matched for kiss books that has like all the pricing on it. I've yeah. jerry rigged it a little bit and added some videos in there so it's easier to understand. But they basically click and they're like, oh, I can choose my colors and I can upgrade my albums and all the pricing is already built in on Davey and Krista's site. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do, have, I do have that, but I want to explain to you this system. So we go through, oh yeah, and then it's step two. Go yeah. into your... This is all one email that yeah, this is a to them. Yeah, this is big email. Go into your, um, go into your, oh, step two. Go back to your album gallery, or go back to your slideshow, have it linked, and now it's unlocked. And now you can press, press this little unlock button, um, type in the password, James and Jess, or I always make it their first names because they're not gonna know, not know how to spell them. And say it's unlocked now. There you can add comments, you can say add photos. And what we say is you can add photos, you can take, you can swap photos, take away photos, add photos. You can have three images per page. Mm -hmm. You can add pages, you can take away pages. You have up to three revisions, which basically communicates to them you can submit your comments three times. You can change every page if you want to three times, but three times is what you got. So it's not constantly back and forth. And then at the end of that, the most important part of this, the most important which part Sean has taught us, and it is, we just call it, I just call it the 30-30 rule. Um, we say, I understand that this is packed, but I would really love, and inside, most importantly, inside the designer where they're commenting, it shows pricing. Like yes. the original, how much credit they have. I would really love for you to get this full version because I want you to have for the rest of your life this story. The full the story. The full story of your, of your wedding, wedding day. day. So for right now, for the next 30 days, I would love to offer you 30% off of all upgrades to your album. So remember, now that you not only do you have 30%, but this is where the credit comes in, you also have six hundred dollars credit to spend on your album. All of a sudden they went from thinking this is gonna be a thousands of dollar album to 30% off plus $600 credit. And in the KISS designer, it shows the full price of the album, the price, discount. the discount at 30% off minus the credit. So it goes from either $2,500 album minus 600, so it's like $1,900 plus 30% off. So this shows only 70%. And you're like, oh, that's actually not that bad. It's around $1,200. We also tell our clients they can have two to four different payments if they wanna split it up into payments to make that even easier. And for a lot of them, that does make it a lot easier. Yeah. And that's the thing. So say it even lands on $1,200, which sounds absurd, but you have to remember two things. Wedding's over. Wedding budget does not exist anymore. This is a new set of rules. This does not have to do with the wedding budget. This has to do with them making a decision as a married couple. Yeah. And the first decision they want to buy is this that will last forever. And it's yeah. true. This is not, if I would not sell these, if I didn't believe in it. Yeah. I tried before and I didn't believe in it because I didn't have the right designer creator of these albums, I didn't have the right mindset either. And we sold one album a year. And I lost money, and that's why. So like, I believe in it. in it, and you come up with the right system, and you're serving everyone. Yeah. And then say it's $1,200, say, hey, we'd love to break this into to four payments if you want, and all of a sudden, $1,200 is four, $300? <laughs> $300 to buy an album is pretty good. Yeah. And then you send, and then that's, and then you send the album, and what we do personally, since everything's drop shipped, if they're in your town, order it, take a picture and a video of it, hand deliver it to them, record their reaction. That yes. goes back in your social for your next brides to see. But Kissbooks offers a service, I think it's like $30, no, I don't wanna quote anything. I think it's 30, maybe more, whatever it is. I don't care how much it is, it's worth it. Um, keep talking and then we can- I'm gonna answer all these after. questions after. Keep, keep throwing them in there, thank you. Keeping me on track. Um, for 30 bucks or so, Kissbooks will wrap your gift with a bow, like beautiful. And there's enough wrapping paper options to fit all branding. Ours yeah. is very elegant and luxe, so it's like a very luxe paper with a ribbon. And handwrite a card from whatever we want to say. Handwritten, love James and Jess, envelope, ship it. 
The next thing we know, X amount of weeks later, we get a ding on Instagram. It's like, ah, oh, it's here! And they're Instagramming about it and we repost that and everyone else gets excited. And I've never had someone get their album to say, this wasn't worth it. No, never. never. In fact, someone messaged me and was like, I would spend four times more on this experience alone. Yeah. I've been told that before they even got their album in their hands. And then they got the best album in the world in their hands. And it like, it's life changing. It's crazy. Yeah. I cry when I see these things. Yeah, 30 bucks. Right $30 there, big dollars for boutique rides. And then here's a the kicker. Favorite. I believe in kicker endings, which is just when something's complete, you say, what else? What else could I do to make this better? So when you order the Kiss album, give it like three or four days, then go back into the Kiss designer. And Kiss makes these things called Little Kisses. They're adorable four by four books. Adorable. They're like, they're the cutest little books. You just order, you reorder their album in a four by four. And then you ship it and you, another little note is like, here's a little love for you, a little gift. Keep this in your purse so you can show people your album wherever you go. That album is way more powerful than Instagram. And I trust me, I love Instagram. I love Facebook. So it allows us to connect like this. But when you flip out of your purse, this little album that's like highest quality photos, the highest quality print and make, and you're showing it off, that's like a walking advertisement for you. And it, it means you're always at the top of their mind talking about you wherever they're going. Yeah. So that's just a kicker ending. And honestly, that's like, that's the system. The ironic thing is we have more clients raving about us this past year than we have in the past 14 years yeah. because they have actually something to show for it. Yeah. It's different when it's a thought and an Instagram post versus something in their hands. It's just yeah. how it works. That's why we all like getting mail still. Yeah. It's different than getting an email or a DM. Oh, that's true. Oh yeah. And if you order the same album, you get a discount, Sean was saying. So like, it's just a duplicate album. Yeah. Mic drop. Mic drop. There you go. Mamba out. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Do you want to answer some of the questions? Yeah, so I'm going to throw some love? questions. You guys fire off the questions. If you are re-watching this, put more questions in because I'm going to answer. Yeah, we'll come back I'm going to come back and well. answer all your questions. So let me, pardon my uh, scrolling here, but let me highlight for, yes. Okay, so we're going to go. Look on see more because some of them. Okay, I haven't used... Tina, I haven't used Kiss Designer before. Do they have songs included? If so, what songs are your favorite to play? Do you use the same song for every client? Great, Great question. Great question. Yes, yes, and yes. So Kiss Books, first of all, it's like the greatest designer ever. Second, they have a massive selection of songs, and we use the same song for everyone. You can also upload their own songs, depending on like what kind of Facebook account you have. Sometimes they're weird if you upload like a song. But just recently, at least with some accounts, they're allowing you to turn on like a credit the artist so you can reshare it. Yeah. And trust me, mic drop mode, when they get their slideshow and it's their first dance song. We do, there's actually a song we really like in there. It's like Little Drops of Heaven. Something like that. It's, it's just like an acoustic like loop. And usually our albums are longer than the one song. So it longer. loops really seamlessly. So it doesn't seem like there's anything. Yeah. Great question. But yes, highly recommend always um, adding music to... Cause need those templates. Time. I'll talk all about what we can do to help you with templates in a second. Um, and Jeff, going back to like the bait and switch, that's why top of the final I say awareness. Yeah. Throughout the whole process, they know at the end they're going to get an album. They also know they're going to have an opportunity to upgrade to an upgrade. album. The first thing I teach, um, like Sean dropped, we have a course on this that we're going to launch soon. But the first thing I teach in that is awareness. You cannot, you cannot go into the whole wedding and then at the very end be like albums. Yeah. Because that's Pay like that will album, crush you. Know you. There's no, there's no. That's a bait and switch. So that's why we have a process. Won't buy something that they don't know about. Correct. And that it's they impossible. don't know exists. It's impossible. So another note on that. Um, Sean always talks about a stack, which he has. You can buy. My phone. We're now crooked. There you go. <laughs> we, okay. <laughs> um, a stack is basically like the sample books you have, which they give you a deal on sample albums. It just has this beautiful little like kiss thing on the back. So you shouldn't be selling sample books anyways, but they're for your studio. When I say studio, I mean my living room. Yeah. I don't have a studio. I love my house. I'm gonna have people over to my house instead. We FaceTime most of our people. And so it's like, hey, here's the albums we were talking about. You should have an eight by eight, 20 page linen album because yes. at the very least they need to see, at least I get that book. I mean, put some, in, you know, engraving on it with their names, but like 
show them if they're with you, put it in their hands, flip through it like Vienna White. That's what I do when I FaceTime people. And then for your second one, I recommend a 10 by 10, at least 40 page leather book, cameo window, engraving, maxed out. The same reason when you go look for a car, they put you in like the maxed out Audi, not the base model. You can go to buy the base model, but they're like, but don't you like seat heaters? Now they have seat air conditioning and, and auto park and all those things because they know in the back of your mind, you're going to want that. You and didn't even know you wanted it, and then you And you didn't even know they had air-conditioned seats, but when you sit in them, you're like, I'm so happy I know about these. I'll pay whatever I want for this. So just in the beginning, when you're showing people your stack, and then if you're going to do a third book, do a 12 by 12, I say linen. So there's like just the reason we have three collections, everything should be pointing to the 10 by 10. If they want to do the 12 by 12, let them pay for it. Yeah. But at least point towards like the common denominator. Also, Kissbooks has a beautiful <laughs> suede. So I would actually do linen for the 8x8, leather for the 10x10, and then suede for the 12x12 because 12 12, I'm obsessed with their new suede. Um, what videos, Tina, do you add to your album page? Awesome question. I'm going to explain to you in just a second. I'm going to open your second question. Um, cool. People are requesting to watch video. Awesome. awesome. Um, if they get in the Kiss Books group, great. This is, yeah. uh, this is for Kiss users. This is like our heart for Kiss users because I've been taught and learned how to use it well, and I want you guys to use it to the best of your ability. Um, and now, like we were saying, now is the time to implement this, is this it, guys. system into your business because you're not doing anything else. This is time. You've got the time. So, to do um, what videos do you have on your page? Are actually a video I recorded myself, um, and I'll explain to you as soon as I explain what it is. Something that you can do. Um, so, what I did it was in the Kiss Designer. You guys have to remember the least amount of decisions and steps someone has to take, the more they'll buy, and the more likely they are to press buy. Yeah. That's just psych that's just sales psychology. So. Yeah. I thought, personally for me, the way I work, I work with hands-on or video seeing something done or being taught how something's done, not yeah. written instructions. So what I did was I just screen record. I went to QuickTime and pressed like screen record. And then I also turned on my microphone, literally my microphone and my, my Mac top, MacBook. Yeah. I didn't have a Rode mic when I recorded Wasn't this. was a production. was not a production, so no excuse. Or recording your iPhone. I've also did that for backup audio just in case. And I just said, hey, this is James from James and Jess. I'm really excited for you to get your album. I'm gonna walk you through how this works. So then I just bring them into their slideshow. I show them, click this unlock button, type in your password. This is how you can make comments. This is how you choose your color. This is what all these numbers mean in this calculator. So excited for you to get your album. The next step is like comment or give us the green light. So it's just a very easy way. Instead of them reading five steps, press play in a video. Yeah. That's why we're doing this instead of writing a forum on the Facebook page, it's just yeah. easier. Yeah. Keep going on questions here. Um, we can customize pricing the Kiss Designer for client. Yes, it, you can customize how much they see they spend. Yes. So it's like, for us, we charge a thousand for the eight by eight. Like I said, I'm an open book. We just have a higher paying client at this point that wants to spend that. So the numbers just added up. So we say thousand dollars album credit. So they go from like, $3,000 album, $1,000 album credit. Oh, it's only $2,000. And then you put 30% and then it shows that. So it's like high number, small, small, small. So they just psychologically go through this. That's it's nothing. It's kind of like, like a super sale. Like when you're at Nordstrom, <laughs> Nordstrom doesn't have a lot of sales, but then when they have their half yearly sale and you get a percentage off and then another percentage off, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm getting this amazing luxury product for this price. And it's only for 30 days. It's just the same as that type of sale would work. People are stoked on it and they can't imagine waiting till after that 30 days and having to pay the full price when they know that within that 30 days they can get their album for that price. Do they ever ask costs in the console upgrades? No. We've had a few, a few. We've had a few people ask in our in our first consultation or even in like once they've already booked like how much do people spend? And they're not saying like give me the exact dollar amount, it's, but they're it's not because they're they're wondering like they're just curious. It's like when people ask for raw photos, they're like, no, you want high resolution photos. Yeah. So instead of saying like, well, it's $30 a page and da da da, if they really ask them, like it's anywhere from 30 to $60 a page to upgrade. Yeah. Depending we'll on the that. size. And that's to them, they're like, great, maybe two or three pages. Cause they don't know. Yeah. But I usually say they'll usually spend anywhere from five to $1,500 on an album upgrade if they choose to upgrade. Yeah. And most of, the, most of them do. This isn't the time to show pricing on albums. It's just to to show the awareness, but don't hold back anything. Yeah, something else we've noticed too is our clients have their wedding budget. This is how much we're allotting for wedding photography, this is how much for videography, for coordination, for catering, all of that. 
what they're spending on their album is actually not part of their wedding budget. That is a completely separate expense. A lot of them were gifted money for their wedding day on their wedding day as mm -hmm. a present, and they choose to use that money towards their album. Yep. So we've been amazed, honestly, at how many people who have said like, we're scraping to make ends work, but we really want to book you guys. They book a lower package. They end up upgrading to the eight hours with the, with the album. And then when it comes time to when they can buy their album, we're thinking, I don't know if these guys are going to be able to afford the album upgrade, but then they explained to us, we know how valuable this is and we know that it's worth the money and they it's a completely separate budget. You have to keep that in mind. Also, I know people that charge thousand to three thousand dollars max and they for their wedding and coverage. they double their wedding because of the amount of money they make on albums. And I yeah. think something that's really important and I'm saying this being in the industry for over a decade, there's this odd false pride of like how much do you charge? Mm -hmm. I'd rather be asked how much do you profit because I know photographers that charge a ton as much as me if not more but because of their systems their lack of refining what they're doing or maybe they're film and they have to and I'm not bashing film I'm saying maybe they're film and that's an extra grand at least if you're shooting film maybe they don't know how to outsource properly so at the end of the day you're like well I'm not actually profiting that much you could be a photographer who charges $1,500 $2,000 average except you're selling two or three albums and you repeat this system on the parents Yep. And you're actually profiting more than some people that are like way up there. So I think the question should be, how much are you, what kind of experience are you giving your couples? I don't care what you charge and how much are you profiting yourself? Yep. That's what matters. It has nothing to do with what's on your pricing packages yeah. at all. <laughs> you guys need point. to get past that. Yeah. It's a pride that took me a long time to get over. And ironically enough, when you get over it, you actually open yourself up to serve people better and your prices naturally go up from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so going along with that, this wasn't, Sean and I, we, we, as soon as this whole pandemic happened, I was just reaching out to like every resource I had, like, how can I help share? Yeah. Because what I'm doing, I'm dialing in systems. I'm hopping on FaceTimes with people. I'm going to dial in backend things. Right now, I am going through and sending these emails to all the parents of our past couples and our couples in the futures so their parents have an opportunity to buy. And then you kind of like triple down. What I'm going to test is do like an eight by eight, like don't go like the full gauntlet, but still give them 30% off. I'm um, just so you can serve them better. But And what we're doing for those parent albums, because I know a lot of you will probably want to do this for the parents of your brides, brides mm -hmm. and grooms as well, is we're actually designing an album yeah, for same them. same system. We're not saying, pick your favorites and let us know which images you want in the album because we're experts and we're amazing storytellers. You are an expert and you are an amazing visual storyteller. So you are great at being able to build an album that tells the story of your couple's day. Yeah. Parents of your couples, they don't know how to do that. They've probably never tried to design They do album. know how to so, press play and say yes or no. So in order to get them to actually purchase, especially an extra album besides what's included in the couple's package, to have a parent album purchase, you need to design that for them and then say, I designed this for you because I want you to have this of your kid's wedding day. <laughs> um, and then explain upgrade options and explain if they want to remove images, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff the same that we talked about. Um, but you, in order to do that, you have to create it for them and you have to make it the easiest, easiest process mm -hmm. possible. Cause if you're asking them to pick their favorites, it's not going to happen. Like how much easier it would be if you knew buying a car was like experience like this, you rolled in and they're like, I get it. You want this, but let me show you this. Yes. No. Meet in the middle. That's it. That's, yeah. that's why I start car salesmen are sales salesy because they don't do that. It's like a pain, right? Yeah. But in this, it's just, as long as you're serving them at the highest and if they say I want to go back to the base let them do it don't yeah. don't give them slack usually what will happen I'll tell you that what you're doing when you're doing parent albums one sec okay so yeah, usually yeah, yeah. just to give you some statistics of our own experience I would say one out of ten reduce pages but they meet somewhere in the middle so say it was 60 they'll buy around 40 one out of ten eight out of ten just say fire off green light. Like I said, this is our couples one out of 10. So that's the nine. And then one out of 10 will say, I want the full, I actually want to add pages. I know you're selling them like a 70 page album and they're just yeah. all in. Engagement books for Tina's question. Great question. <clears throat> Let me Do find we, Tina's question. Sure oh, just got a makeup shout out. I know. Thank Ooh. you. I, 
I love that you enjoyed my IGTV about my um, winged eyeliner. I'm making doing, more IGTVs about that. Doing Power Albums, do you charge them the same set amount for the albums, or if the album upgrades are extra pages, couple is the base price album extra pages? Um, it's the same base price, but it's just a smaller album, and it's thirty percent off. If you want to go way farther, instead of giving them, say it's like six hundred for a base, be like, here's two hundred fifty dollars album credit. It's just a gift. Yeah. They can't get anything with that, but it's a they then yeah. mentally they can go through the same. Oh, look at the calculator! Everything's dropping off. Um, she also asked about engagement albums. I'm so trying to find that. Where is that? Initially, we she asked if we, yeah, do you sell albums for engagement sessions? Oh, there you right go. There. Yeah. So initially, we didn't. When we integrated albums into our system, it was just for wedding albums. And then when we realized how amazing that system was, we actually started adding in more like parent mm -hmm. albums and then engagement albums as well. Um, so we have started to integrate that into our system as well. But something that that we find to be really important is they have that album credit in their package, but I never want them to use that album Until credit their wedding for an album. engagement mm -hmm. album because I want to make sure that they have an amazing mm -hmm. wedding album and I don't want yeah. that credit to take away from it. So we explain that to them when we send over an engagement album design. We'll say, you do have this money in your package, but this is only for your wedding album. And then we offer them a deal for we're their also, engagement album. We're also toying with right now, like just gifting them, straight up gifting them. Like I said, it's $105. And yeah. Kiss has this awesome program where it's basically like bronze, silver, gold. And you get more perks along the way. Once you get to certain points, like free shipping and free little cameos and engraving and, and all those little things. Mm -hmm. So say it costs just 105 maybe if we're paying for shipping, 120 bucks for a little album. For us, we'd rather gift them so what we're doing is a base album say hey happy engagement this is just for you and then all of a sudden they have something in their hands they're like oh i like this but my wedding one should be bigger than my engagement one yes so there's all kinds of ways like i said there's no writer there's no set rules on this yeah i think there's guidelines of don't be salesy don't try to be schemy if you believe in it do it if it's really making you nervous dm me and i'll tell you if you should be nervous um, but just following those by those guidelines, test things, split test things, give them some, offer some to others, and then you'll find on a, on a happy medium. Sean, you two rock. You can read it right there, actually. Oh, I have on my computer, man. Yeah. Um, okay. Can you give them since they're part of Fabe's Kiss? Yes. Okay. So when we teamed up with Sean, this was like ironic timing because we technically haven't launched this. Um, Jess and I were so passionate about this that we wanted to be able to hop on here whenever we can but realistically this course takes a solid few hours to implement and comprehend in a few days if you're recording all the videos and all those things so we're actually launching in spring um, but what's finished now is when Sean messaged me and said we want to go live I was able to um, put a bow on it on the on this so we create a course um, when it launches it's gonna be called the James and Jess Album Academy and it is everything that I've taught you but so much more in depth it took me 100 hours to build. I, I timed it. It was yeah. crazy, but it was like the most worth it thing because it even helped me refine the system as I was going through it. It has every single email template that we use in there. It even has, <laughs> I wanted this to be so easy. I believe in albums so much. I was like, if they get this, they should just be able to plug it in and it yeah. should work. Um, it has a video. I have a screen share of me screen sharing and a script. So all you have to do for the like instructional video is press play on a screen share, read a script, save it, and you have it done. I even created the, the video for you. Um, so this is for you guys. Please don't share this outside this group. This is just for our, our KISS family. Um, I'm gonna send it to them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna drop it in the comments right now. Um, there it is. If you just highlight that, jamesandjess.com slash one word, the album academy that just popped up. If you use the code KISS, all caps, K-I-S-S -S, at checkout, I'm gonna give you guys $100 off the course, which is, I, guys, I just want you to have this. Yeah. It is crazy. Um, one of my really good friends, Peter, I had him, who's my guinea pig, go through this, and he was actually able to use this to sell to a past client, and <laughs> he made $500 off a past client profit just from selling this, and I was like, it's gonna pay for itself the first sale, yeah. but I'll tell you right now, this isn't, I'm gonna press this and all of a sudden it didn't work. You're gonna to have to implement it and put in the work like all good things. But I have reduced this into the most concentrated, easy version that you can get. So if you wanna implement that, also our email is hello at jamesandjess.com. Um, it's on there. 
we are in there. You know we are on Instagram. We're on Facebook here. Bombard me with questions. Yeah. We have a lot of free time. I am just here to help <laughs> you guys. So I'm so excited for you guys. I want you guys. I believe in you. If you're going through the course and you're just like, I need more, I'll FaceTime you. Yeah. I'm, I'm here for you guys. This yeah. is... This is what we're all about. And I will warn you, it is addicting the second you make your first album sale. You'll get a little rush when you add this into your collection and someone buys it. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I have an album now. The second you send that pitch email in the email templates, it's this massive template and it's beautiful. You are going to feel this euphoric feeling of, I just serve my clients, they get an album and I just put money in my pocket from four emails. Yeah. That's crazy, guys. It's so rewarding. It's amazing. And then think about this. Even if you have 10 clients in a year, you put 10 albums out. That's 10 books that will last a lifetime of your work spread throughout the world. Yeah. That's amazing. And then give them little kisses and you double it. Yeah. Yep. It's just remarkable. So I am, we're here for you guys. I believe in albums. I believe in serving your clients. That's why I just, 100 hours into this course. And I'm going to, the next module this is, this is how early this is. This is a complete thing, but I'm adding bonus modules for the launch in spring. One of the bonus modules will be my exact way to sell to past clients. Yeah. That will be in there. Um, and so you'll get all the live, live updates in there as well. Um, Brian, I love you, Brian. You guys are the best. You guys also, are the, so kind. Tina, thank you. I love you guys. This thank is you. Um, United several years ago. Yeah. United's going to be so fun this year too. I'm I can't so wait. Excited. Uh, I'm going to dive deep. Yeah, you guys, if you want to dive deep into this, we have, I mean, we're around. So like if you're diving deep into it and you're just like, I need this, email me. I, I will get back to you as soon yeah. as I possibly can. Don't ever feel like you're bombarding me or like this unnecessary. Yeah. What This is what I'm doing. I'm here to help you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go through and make sure... If you guys have other questions that either we missed on here or you have other questions, feel free yes. to ask them here right now, too, oh, as we go actually, through. Oh, actually, hold on. I have something else for you guys. Oh. Um, there it is. So I also made this thing. Um, if you're on our email list, you got it yesterday. Um, but I'm going to drop this in here. This is um, the five ways... So basically in the midst of all this, I wanted to create, um, it's an eight and a half minute video of five ways to make more money without raising your prices and from home. So that's going in the comments, boom, right there. Um, I'm on Jess's account right now. So it's Jess oh, saying that's this. Funny. Um, and the last <laughs> I'm, one is I'm albums. So <laughs> like you're going to end the last one in albums of what I went through and grab that course and you'll, you'll understand how to do that more. But the first four are also just really, really practical ways to, to make more money from home, from things like how to set up, how to sell prints on your online, um, like your CloudSpot gallery or ShootProof, whatever you get, Pixie Set Pass, whatever you're using, they all sell prints, to following up with clients. Those are just five best practices so you can continue to gain business. In this time that seems so dark and dreary, the more you guys do this, the more your spirits will be lifted. And if you need an extra dose, call me, I'll make sure you smile. Um, so we're here for you and your success. We're super stoked. And like I said, the time is now. You have been given the gift of time. That's the silver lining. And if you basically have two options, you can watch Netflix and you can understand like, okay, I'll pick up when business goes, or you can take advantage of this time, create systems that will work for you. So the second yeah. and praying to God that it's sooner than later, and I believe it will be, this dissipates you'll be able to hit the ground running more confident than you've ever been before in your business. And that's my goal for you. Yeah. Um, so if you have any questions apart from albums, you from anything, oh, all the questions right are here. There. Just ask us, fill my inbox. I will answer all your questions. We are open books. Tips on adding albums to collections if you've never offered them before. Mm -hmm. And this will put you in a new pricing market. Um, and this will put you in a new pricing. No, okay, so this won't put you in a new pricing market um, if you don't want it to be. Do you have any tips on adding albums to collections? Yes. Add them. I know this sounds crazy. Yeah. Um, take your middle collection and add an eight by eight, 20 page linen album. Credit it at $600, say it's $600 album credit, good for an eight by eight, 20 page linen album. That's it, just yeah. add it in there. If you really want, up your prices by $105, but if you use the system we taught you, you will be profiting more off that album and serving your clients. The best part about the system, it's scalable. Like I said, instead of 600, Jess and I started a thousand for our albums. So if you're like, wow, I'm really selling these, up them. 
and make sure that the pages reflect the prices in that. And we talk about that in the course because it's just all that analytical math stuff. Um, and say three years from now, you're like, bam, I'm like way at this higher market. That whole system can grow with you. Yeah, absolutely. Someone you guys, asked, yeah, do you need more? Yeah. Biggest difference with your album Academy and what, what Kiss provides for their album sales email. Excellent. So Kiss, the, like I said, like we learned the base of this. For us personally, we do everything online. Yeah. Um, and the email that I send is a gargantuan email and it is that plus site that we use that Davey and Krista dropped in there um, for like $29. And for us, it's the biggest difference is this is all based on four emails that will sell not in person. Yeah. Also, we, like, as educators and photographers, we didn't stop shooting weddings in order to educate photographers because we wanted to make sure that we stay relevant in this industry. Yes. So we shoot 30 luxury weddings every year. We travel for more than half of those. And we integrated this into our system just a couple years ago because we wanted to be able to serve our clients really well. So this is like fresh of what we've learned and we're providing that for you guys because we, we wanted it to be something that's still relative. Mm -hmm. It's not just like, oh yeah, this, like you should do this, it'll work, which you can get a lot of different information from mm -hmm. people, but this is what we have actually done thanks to what Sean has said, how we've implemented it and then how we've actually made, like James recording that video of, Here's the script of what to say mm -hmm. when you're explaining to your client how to view their upgrades. It's things like that that we made extra easy for you guys. Um, great question, Stephanie. So wouldn't you raise your price to $600? If you were going dollar for dollar, collections are called collections for a reason. It's a conglomerate of things and services that don't reflect their true price. Right. So like we have six, eight, and 10 hours. The six hour collection is just six hours in the, in the images in a gallery like downloadable it's really basic to upgrade from there it's eight hours it's eight hours album downloads and we always just we always use an engagement session as like a gift hook because we want people to feel more value um so if you're curious about engagement sessions that's what we do the reason we don't do that is yeah technically it's six hundred dollars more value but the jump from six to eight hours value should not be dollar for dollar it should be why, why the hell don't I just upgrade to eight hour collection when I basically get virtual $600 album credit? And if someone asks, we say, no, we offer this collection because it is the, it's a collection rate. This is the one opportunity you get to have an album that's hardly more than the six hour collection. Yeah. So instead of like six hours, I'll just add two hours. They're like, wait, nope, I might as well get the album with it. It's not forcing, highlighting the strongest point of this is the best value because you know it's gonna serve them well, it's how you want your systems to work, and it's value that's not dollar for dollar. So that's that's why we don't just up our album by $600. You could if you wanted to, but for us it's about bringing, providing value, and then giving them opportunity to upgrade on the back end, not just on the front. Like I said, the profit doesn't come from front. Yeah. It comes from upgrades. Um, Tina asked, do you sell other print products as well? So. We have within our within our gallery, mm -hmm. it's I mean all galleries are linked with <laughs> an actual print company. Um, so we have that priced accordingly and then sometimes we'll run sales of like because that collects all their emails. So we'll run a sale of like, hey, thirty Black Friday sale, thirty percent off mm -hmm. of all that's one of my and all canvases in the five and all ways. that. But that's not during this 30 days album process because I want the couple to have their album. That is the most important thing yeah. for and me. And that's also the most profit you'll make. Yeah. So like in the five ways content, one of the things I say is you should have a video screen sharing. Say you use CloudSpot or Pass, whatever you use. They all look the same. <laughs> um, pop them up and you do a screen share. And be like, hey, this is James. Um, I just want to show you how you can download and buy your photos. So you know, click here for your favorites, press the download button. If you want to purchase photos, press buy, walk them through it, yeah. and then give them a 30% for the next week. I want to give you 30% off your prints. Do that at Christmas time, do that at Black Friday. Yeah. Send that to every family member that's ever downloaded a photo from that gallery. But make sure that video is attached. And then make sure your prices are appropriately matched. Like if you want them to buy wall prints, turn off four by sixes and five by tens. And if they do, make sure the four by sixes cost like 20 bucks yeah. and make sure a wall print costs over a hundred. Make sure a canvas costs several hundred, give them the discount, yeah. send them that video. That's the most efficient way without being in person. Like we don't do in person sales to sell prints. Yeah. And it's offhand. But like we don't we have to said, print anything. For us, the album is the most important thing. So that's always first Correct. and primary. And then after that, we can talk to them about more 
Um, someone said discount code for the Album Academy. I can, again, I can't see where it went. KISS. K-I-S-S. So if you go into the Album Academy, there's all these like click to find the, it's like a checkout page. And once you log in there, there's a coupon code. Press K-I-S-S, all caps KISS. It'll take 100 bucks off. And guys, have so much fun with this. But I'm gonna hang out for like two more minutes or I think longer. If you, I'm looking at a desktop right now. If you click see thread at the bottom, then the, that's in the comments. Is the actual? Oh, don't do that. Double, double talking, <laughs> watching myself live now. Um, oh, I see now. There we go. Anything else? Oh, it's definitely reposted. Thanks. Yeah. So capital. I'm gonna put that in code. I'm just gonna put it right back in the comments. I S S. You guys, you guys are phenomenal. Yeah. Thanks for Thanks for joining us on this live. Sean, thanks for having us on here. Like I said, it's our responsibility and opportunity to be lights into this world in this pandemic time. Um, so root yourself in that and root yourself in knowing the silver linings you've been giving, the gift of time that will make you a better, a better business person. And it'll also allow you to serve your clients better who are already kind of feeling all pent up. Yeah. So look for ways to take opportunities to do that. If you have any questions, my email, I'm going to put it in here, pretending I'm Jess. Hello, jamesandjess.com. Email us. I will be getting back to you. I promise I'll respond to every email. If you want to hop on a call and chat business, um, I've been doing like 15-minute quick calls with, that, with people who are asking. Like, I'm an open book, guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. That link will be live for the next week. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And we are, we are so honored to be on here. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. I think we're going to keep this up. So you guys yeah. are the best. Honestly, like, thank you guys for showing up. And thank you for choosing to make a difference in this industry, especially during this time. I am just so excited for you guys because we're cheering you on. We are for you and your success. And we are excited to see this industry move forward. And it takes people like you in order to 100%. put in that work, in order to keep loving your clients and keep serving them well for it to happen. So I'm excited. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys soon. Please email me. I want to hear from you. Thank you so much, guys.